The boardwalk is taking place on the 20th of May and it's being held at Stormford Country Park. We'd like to introduce you to a few of the fundraisers who are taking part and who have decided to share their stories. your name? My name's Joanne Pittman. And where are you from? From South Sea. Um, and what's your reason for joining the Ward Walk? Uh, well I wanted to do it for acute oncology, Ward F5. Unfortunately my aunt lost her battle with cancer back in January and uh, she was just looked after so well for her last few days and my family all stayed there with her, my dad, my nan and her children. And yeah, they were made to feel so at home, given beds and you know, fed them and everything, and it was just they were treated so kindly. So we just wanted to do something to help. Yeah, so the staff um, were really good. Yeah, brilliant. Really That's well. Great. Um, and are you the only person doing the work? Uh, no, there'll be my daughter with me as well. Oh, okay, great. Uh, yeah, and it was her idea to oh, uh, actually okay. do it. And yeah. what's her name? And how her old is she? Grace, and she's eleven. Um, and how can people um, donate? Uh, well, we set up a just giving page, uh, and. We, I also I work for Southern Co-op, so um, Portsmouth Charities is actually my branch's charity. We're partnered with them, so uh, sort of all year round, really. We're looking for donations to go to the uh, to the charity, but uh, yeah, just by just giving or yeah, contact us. Okay, great. And have you done the walk before? No, no, we haven't it's actually. Your first time. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you ever so much for your time. Hello, and what's your name? My my name is Katie Kelly. And where are you from? I'm from Portsmouth. Oh, okay. And um, who are you doing the walk with? My auntie, Joanne, the person that was here before. She's going to do it as well. And have you done the walk before? No, never. This is my first time. Uh, and why are you doing the walk? I don't know what the walk's called, but I'm doing it for, for all the babies that are born early. So I was born early. I can't remember how many weeks, but. I was born early and the people on the, on the wall did it for me, they, they look, looked after me, they cared for me, they, they looked after my mum and dad as well. And how can people donate? Well, my mum or myself might put something on Facebook, like um, doing the walk so that people on Facebook can see it, like my friends and all the other people that are doing this walk and I'm going to put like what I'm doing it for and stuff. So. Yeah, that's really, really good. And um, are you at school? Yes, I am. And um, what's your favourite subject at school? Drama. Okay, that's great. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Charlotte Cobb. Uh, and where are you from? Uh, Waterlooville. And what brings you to the Ward Walk? To raise awareness for the NICU department at the QA Hospital. Um, and could you tell me a little bit more about that? So on September the 11th I gave birth to a beautiful little baby girl called Ava Margaret Grant who was 24 weeks and 5 days gestation when she was born. Um, we were there for four and a half months. Obviously her survival rate wasn't that great in the beginning but for all the you know, marvellous medicines and support of all the consultants, doctors and nurses and everybody else who works with the NICU, they helped us get through it and able for us to bring our little girl home, which we did. Brilliant. And um, is this your first time doing the walk? Yes, it is. And is there anybody else doing it with you? Um, well, yes. Um, my daughter's dad and big brother, Dylan, who's free, we will be doing it in our honour. Everybody who works in the NICU department, obviously you don't ever expect to find yourself in this situation. I never knew what NICU was before, obviously Ava was born, but they help you through so much. You know, they keep everything, don't complicate things. They keep it straightforward for you and tell you everything you need to step by step. And they're there 24 hours a day. Um, and they're just all amazing, like I say, from consultants right down to even the cleaners who are on the wards, you know, they all make the effort and that's what you're about. Obviously her nurses, I, I won't mention those, but she had a few in particular that, you know, that were with her all the time or always come back to see her and, you know, our little girl. And it's just, they're all just amazing, really. 
and um, how can people donate? So, obviously, me and Ava, I want to do this for me and Ava, something that we can continue on doing, which obviously we will now do in her memory. But, you know, we I've done this for the Just Given. It was just, you know, a whim. I just went on it and just signed us up. But obviously, they take donations, you know, through the door. You can go to them or, you know, you can look up our Just Given page or, like I say, just go on up to the ward and make your donations. That You know, they're always grateful to receive. I think, actually, now they've got a NICU Amazon wish list, which also is a great way to donate because there's always things that they need and... You know, they they brought, there was a lot there for our son Dylan as well. Obviously, we didn't bring him up there all the time, but they had um, like sibling packs, so it kept them entertained. There's just so much that they do, but obviously they need help from charity to afford everything and contribute to stuff. Okay, great. Thank you ever so much for your time. It's Thank greatly you. appreciated. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi and Hi. welcome. Hello. Could I start by taking your name? Yeah, I'm Hannah Goodacre. This is Ella, my daughter. Hello, Ella. Hi. Um, and where are you from? Um, Fairham. Okay, and what brings you to the ward walk? Um, well, my father-in-law got diagnosed with um, Burkitt's lymphoma cancer in January, quite sudden, um, and was treated at, um, at QA at, in ward F7. And the staff have been absolutely amazing um, throughout his whole treatment. He's had six rounds of chemo. Um, he's just been so well looked after uh, by the staff there. Oh, that's great, that's great. And is it your first time doing the ward walk? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. and um, is it, who else is joining you or is it My just daughter, you two? Ella. Yeah. 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 And how old are you? Uh, 12, nearly 13. It's a lovely, lovely venue to have yeah, the walk, it is isn't lovely. it? Yeah, it's lovely, really nice. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to the people that are caring? Um, just thank you. Um, it's just. They were just so supportive. Um, nothing was ever too much trouble, um, and he was in isolation for the first three weeks. And um, he, they were just brilliant, amazing. Never, n nothing was never too much trouble, um, and they're just brilliant. Really, really good staff. That's great. And what way is best for people to donate? Um, well, I put it on my Facebook page and um, put a link to Virgin Money. Um, and people have been sponsoring me and also through paper, you know, on the on um, signing forms. But I've met, raised over a thousand pounds so far. Wow, that's but still a great got some amount. To come in. So that's I'm really pleased brilliant. with that so far. Thank you ever so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you.